Hi parents, this is Mrs. Reagan. I want to show you how easy it is to access Moodle um, from the Rosary webpage and show you how to log into uh, my Moodle page as a guest. As you see, I'm on um, Rosary's webpage and I'm going to click on the link that's in the top banner to Moodle. And um, in order to log in, you're going to log in as a guest. So click log in as a guest in um, uh, this option right down here at the bottom and then you're going to choose my class so uh, it's religious studies so click religious studies then scroll down to find my class it's clearly labeled Reagan Paschal Mystery Sophomores um, and click on that link and this prompt's going to ask you for a password and the password is very easy for you to remember it's parent P-A-R-E-N-T and submit and here you are, and you'll see my class. If you um, scroll down, you'll notice in the top um, block right here is the name of the class, my contact information, the course description, the course philosophy. And uh, something that's very important to know is in the course materials, um, this is a book. And if you click on the link, it opens the book. And I have a lot of things here. I have vital documents. I have the syllabus. I have our course notebook how to download it to their own computers, um, and um, some other information, how to upload things to Moodle. Um, on the left-hand side is the table of contents in the book. There's religion links. And these are just links um, organized by topic, things for teens, learning more about faith, Catholic news sources. You might enjoy looking at those links yourself. Um, I have stuff about the Pope. Uh, we were really excited about Pope Francis' election last year. Uh, last um, year so school year so I have a lot of things on the Pope the sacrament of reconciliation um, I'm beginning to add more videos for fun also if you go down here you'll see uh, a link to tech how to if you click on that link this is the technology help desk and it will show you um, all the the things we're using in class it gives them information on how to download their textbook how to upload their textbook um, any tool we use in class on the internet um, is detailed here as well. There's lots of videos. So if your student is working on something at home and she gets stuck, uh, send her here because pretty much everything we do in class I make a video to help them with. Um, so it's a great resource for students who get into trouble at home and don't remember what to do. Going back to the main page. Oops, let me go back to the main page. Uh, if you continue to scroll down, their textbook is here. Um, they're going to download it in class, but if for, for some reason they should lose it, they can just download it again. Um, in the first block here, you'll see uh, this is what, where I put what we do every week in class. So the week's lessons are outlined here. Their homework is here. Their quizzes are here. Their tests. And a reminder about submitting late work via email. Also, if you look here on the left side is the calendar. If you click on the calendar, you can also see all of the coursework here. If you click on this um, assignment, for example, it tells you the um, assignment, the syllabus assignment, um, and when it's due. And if we go back to the main page and continue to scroll down, our activities are all listed on the right-hand column. Um, upcoming events are also listed in the right-hand column. And um, if you scroll, continue to scroll down, I have a section here where I put the, the best examples of what students do in class. And if you click on the book and open it, you'll see it's organized based on um, our ISOs. So for example, if you click on a person of faith, you'll see some of the things we do in class. Um, this is a picture of our blessing of the animals last year. Um, I have examples of some um, VUVOX presentations my students made last year. So if you ever wonder what they do in class, this is a place where you could go to see some of their, um, some of the things they've been working on. Returning to the main page and continue to scroll down, um, we have a section for community service um, and it lists the community service opportunities and has the information on the extra credit community service project. Um, and finally, my course is organized by topic, not by date. So um, our first topic here is Chapter 2, and all their course materials and assignments are located in these blocks. 
Um, in this main block here, you see their assignments. For example, the syllabus, read chapter two, bring in a photo. Here's their quiz. Um, if you open up the book, that's where all the materials are. They have their PowerPoint. However, this is in their OneNote, so they really shouldn't need this. Um, all their assignments are also listed here, but again, this is all in their OneNote, so um, things are getting repeated, so they hopefully won't forget it. Um, I'll put the writing prompts here, and also as we begin to do lecture and record those in class, I will also put the lectures here um, for students who are absent. So that's the basic tour of the Moodle page and how to log in. I hope you enjoy it. It's a great resource for you. If you ever have a question about what's going on, this is the place to go. Everything is um, always here. So thank you for joining me on the tour, and if you have any questions, just email me.